If you want to enjoy the weather in a beautiful yard, Allison's getting some spring lawn care tips in Howard. Good morning, Allison. Hey, good morning, Pete. I'm trying to get rid of these dandelions here with weed and seed. It's one of those granular products uh, for fertilizer because fertilizer uh, needs to go down a couple times a year, and you've probably heard Memorial Day is one of those. And Mark Lambert with Lawn Masters here in Howard with us, giving us all sorts of good information. And Mark, what else do pe what what do we need to know when we put this stuff down? When you do a granular weed control with the fertilizer, the product has to go down early in the morning when it's wet so that the pellet sticks to the weed plant and then it needs to dry for about two days to get a really good kill on the weed. And if we want to get rid of all these dandelions and creeping Charlie and things like that, what, what, do, you, what do we do with this? The <laughs> best way to get rid of your creeping Charlie and your harder to control weeds is going to be using a liquid format. And it's very simple to use. If you go get the ortho product, it tells you one, two, three on how to use it. You just hook it up to the garden hose. And especially with your creeping Charlie blooming right now, the perfect time is to get it is right now with a liquid product and then spray it again about 10 days later for a second time. Okay, I'm gonna keep going here. Another thing that people ask you about a lot is crabgrass? Correct. Do um, people have crabgrass right now? Crabgrass is not really germinating quite yet. We got about another two weeks. A lot of times the customer will get confused with quack grass and tall fescue, okay. thinking that it's crabgrass. Well, let's show this right here, because what is this? Actually, this is, uh, this is actually tall fescue. Take this for you. Um, right now, there is not a product out that the consumer can get. We are testing a product that actually will take care of this. It's relatively new on the market. Um, but a lot of people get this one confused with crabgrass. So Pete, can you can you see the difference here yeah. between this and okay? Yeah. So if you have a little patch like that. Yes, it, it tall fescue tends to grow in a clump, such as that. Okay, and we also hear about quack grass. We have some of that over here. How can you tell that this is quack grass? Quack grass doesn't grow quite in clumps like this. It grows more in individual strands like that. And a lot of times you'll see the curling like this right here like uh, of individual blades that will distinct between a cra or, uh, quack grass. Huh. And you mentioned that um, you know professionals like yourself are going to be testing a product. Can I do anything about this, or do I just have to let it grow? If, you, if you're really impatient with it right now, the, the only thing that I can tell you to do is if this really bothers you, you're going to need to control it with a total kill like Roundup that we talked about earlier, and then reseed this after about 30 days. Because it's, it's really tough to get rid of. It's a very, very challenging one to get rid of. Again, there, uh, there's some new products that are coming out for this. But we're kind of in the testing stage with this. I don't believe that the, the homeowner can just go to the shelf and buy the particular product for this. Okay. Well, thanks so much, Mark. You bet. Um, hopefully, we gave you guys a lot of good information. I know, <laughs> Pete, you were saying I learned more about this stuff than I ever thought I would ever well, need yeah, to Well, yeah, you know now, uh, right? Yeah, yeah. So someday when I have my own lawn, I'll be able to... Uh, do what I can with it, but That's right. hopefully everyone can have a beautiful, lush green lawn like they want. Ah, yes. Well, thanks, Allison. See ya. Sure.